Tuesday night is a fine night to paint the East Division green and white. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and our Game Week preview is presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. The 7-3-5-1 and 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 Ohio Bobcats visit the 5-5-2-4 and 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 Central Michigan Chippewas. The Cats will try to capture their fourth Mid-American Conference East Division title. Each of the previous three were earned in the Frank Solich era, and two of the three were won in Week 11. In 2006, Ohio topped Akron 17-7 at Peden Stadium in Week 11. In 2011, in Week 11, the Cats captured the flag by beating Bowling Green 29-28 on a last-second Matt Weller field goal. The 2009 East title was won on Black Friday in Week 12, the regular season finale 35-17 over Temple. Central Michigan fired up a great start to the 2016 season, but that flame has flickered down the stretch. The Chippewas won the first three and created a firestorm with how they got it done in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And Oklahoma State intentional grounding gave the ball back to CMU, and then the chip, marry, and run gave the maroon and gold an improbable 30-27 victory. And boy, did folks talk about that one. They followed it up with a 44-21 win over UNLV at home, but didn't keep the national notoriety going with their 49-35 loss at Marginal, Virginia. The combination of that one and losing to their rival Western Michigan 49-10 could have taken a lot out of them. Two tight league wins followed against Ball State and in three overtimes over Northern Illinois on the road, but they've dropped three in a row at Toledo against Kent State on a last-second field goal and at Miami last week. The thought was their offense would be high-powered, but that hasn't been the case through 10 weeks. The Chips are 7th in total offense and 8th in scoring, 407 yards per game and 28 points per. Their total defense has helped 4th best in the MAC, giving up 361 yards per game and 29 points per contest. Senior quarterback Cooper Rush is very talented. The numbers are good. They just haven't led to bowl eligibility yet. He's second in the league behind Toledo's Logan Woodside with 2,768 yards. He's thrown 21 touchdowns. Corey Willis is his top target with 790 yards and seven TDs. Ja Ray Hayes has seven rushing touchdowns. Linebacker Malik Fountain is 10th in the league in tackles with 77. D lineman Joe Ostman is fifth in the league with six sacks. Amari Coleman is one of many in the league with three interceptions. They have 15 sacks, but the problem has been giving them up. The O-line has allowed 32, second worst in the league. Ohio should be licking its chops. The Cats are one of the best in the country with 36 sacks this year. It's meeting 31 in the series and Ohio has won only five of them, but the last win at CMU was in 2011, a division title year, winning 42 to 28. Rob Cornelius and I will bring Kelly Short Stadium to you with pregame coverage at 6 and the kick at 7 on Tuesday night. It's also on ESPN2. It's Ohio and Central Michigan. And our Game Week preview is presented by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Plan your next trip to Athens at AthensOhio.com. For Derek Mashiro, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.